The media treated him like a criminal up until the day he was officially classified as one. Just after Christmas last year, Tate and his brother Tristan were arrested and thrown into prison in Romania, where they live. The Tates were held without charges for three months, very likely with the encouragement of the British and American governments. We're not their lawyers, but it's worth noting that as of today, not a single woman has come forward to say that she was kidnapped or imprisoned or moved across international borders against her will by Andrew or Tristan Tate. Accusing a man of a sex crime is the fastest possible way to discredit what he's saying. Days after WikiLeaks revealed that the U.S. government had been spying on its allies and lying about it, Julian Assange was arrested in London for rape. Nine years later, prosecutors dropped the case against Assange for lack of evidence, though somehow that fact was not as widely covered. Epstein's dinner partners insist that Andrew Tate is a pervert and a criminal. Maybe they're telling the truth. Either way, we think Tate's views about men very much deserve a hearing. So we flew to Romania to talk to him. We're posting the entire interview here on Twitter because we've been assured it will not be taken down for ideological reasons, as so much of his content has been. The video is long, but if you can, take the time to watch it. Make up your own mind about Andrew Tate. Here it is. So what are you charged with? That's a really good question. I'm charged with being the head of an organized criminal group, which is in charge of recruiting girls to make TikTok videos to steal the money from the TikTok views. Recruiting girls to make TikTok videos and stealing the money. So it's really a financial crime? I, it looks that way. And it's very interesting because the girls who they've identified to add to the file are saying that we're not victims of anything and this isn't true. But the state believes it's true. And the state thinks that I, as a 35 year old man, woke up I was already extremely financially successful. I was already a father. I was already very well known. I had no financial motivation. I have no criminal record. It's not my personality profile, but I woke up at the age of 35 and decided to make girls do TikTok to enrich myself with the pennies that I would earn from TikTok views. So in the United States, the, I think the belief is that you were charged with human trafficking. Yeah, that's human trafficking because what you do is you force a girl to work against her will for financial gain. That's human trafficking. And their justification for this is that girls do TikTok 